It's gorgeous. Hello, welcome back. So happy to have you here again. And now we're off to uh, like an alternative walking tour through the center of Amsterdam. Of course, there's a touristy route, but there's a route from Central Station that I love 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 especially in summer it's amazing but in winter it's also really cool so i'm gonna take you there and if you're going to amsterdam i highly recommend you to take this walking route lego gorgeous weather finally still i believe my hair is gonna explode during this trip so watch it in action we are now at amsterdam central station i am standing uh, with my back towards it and we are going to walk towards the Victoria Hotel. So everybody goes straight ahead for the dam, the National Palace, la 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 la. But we are going to turn right. We are almost at the first intersection next to the Art Hotel. Oh, you can have uh, good drinks here as well. It's like uh, the bar is called 533 from the top of my head. It's in the Art Hotel. They have good cocktails, good drinks. It's a nice place. It's a little bit like Momo. I think this one's better actually. They have good service. So now we are, no, actually let's cross the street. And then we turn left. The weather is insane. This is really good. It's not even that cold. I expect it to be a lot colder, but it's perfect. Look at that sun. Oh my gosh. This is Amsterdam at its finest. This is gonna be a good walk. So when you see Fabo, turn right into the... Yeah. Well, this is still New Dijk, but it evolves into Haarlemmer Straat, and that's where we want to be because we're going into the Jordan area. If you want to smoke weed, you can find it anywhere, but seriously, as a local, it's not the most fun thing. Here's a coffee shop, whoop de doo It would be a little bit exaggerated to say that I'm annoyed when people like get excited about the weed in Amsterdam because I don't smoke. I usually don't drink like maybe four times a year or something. I don't smoke weed. I smoked like two joints in my life and I fell asleep twice. So I really don't like it. And like when people are so excited, like, oh my God, you can smoke weed in Amsterdam, blah, blah. I'm like, but there are so much other fun stuff that you can do in the city. So today I'm gonna show you. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at the sun, look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Oh god, I love my city when the sun shines. Look at this. This is like a classic image, right? With all the bicycles. Oh, look at the bokeh, look at the bokeh. Oh my gosh. Watch out for Amsterdam cyclists. They are local. Even the cutest, sweetest little girl will turn into a monster when she's on a bike in Amsterdam. I'm not joking. So, there we go. Haarlemmerstraat and we are now in the Jordan area just walk straight and you'll find like the cutest shops and restaurants seriously India why are you stalking me if you want you can vintage shop over here oh actually I should have gone on a Monday because oh look at this cute shop it's a bookstore actually but it looks so cute this is a really cute candy store they have a lot look, I'm not gonna go inside but it's really cute like they have all this candy and sweets and stuff like that. Of course I went inside, it's a candy store, come on. You must know me by now. Look at these cute cupcake lollipops. Or it's actually it's cake pops, right? Oh, really cute, like marshmallow lollipops. Oh my god, boobs. Other kinds of lollipops. Oh, they have this. Who had this as a child? This is like my best childhood memory. Should I buy it? because they're really hard to find. No, no, I must stay strong, healthy. I'll come back another day. Seriously, in the Netherlands, you must buy strobe waffles. Strobe waffles in English. <laughs> they're like um, waffles with caramel in between. They're so good. Vlogging in English is brilliant over here. Everybody thinks I'm just a stupid tourist. Awesome. Vinnie's Deli, I have never eaten here, but it's famous for having really, really, really good food. I think you should go here for breakfast or lunch. I have been to Stout though and they have good food. Stout means naughty in Dutch by the way. Screaming beans for coffee. I think they got an Esquire award for best coffee in Amsterdam. I don't think it was this shop though, but uh, it's good coffee. Look at this cute shop. They have a flamingo. 
also home accessories if you're into that I'm really bad with interior decorating and another vintage shop if you're into that please explore me a little bit more oh another vintage shop so, anyways on Monday every Monday I think at 8 is the Northern Mark which is the place to be if you like vintage shopping it's kind of a little bit of a hidden secret in Amsterdam I've been there before I didn't buy that much but it's really cool to see it. and we are actually going to pass the Northern Mark but in case you're lost just follow the arrows Ooh, awesome street art very cool as you may see it looks really 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 cute and it's a lot more peaceful than the center like actually it's really peaceful maybe because this is a Wednesday afternoon but anyways I think most tourists are just too preoccupied with a red light district and the dam square and light supply and blah 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 wow seriously as a local this is one of my favorite areas in the city if not my favorite there I say my favorite I don't know. I like the pipe as well. I no. I think I like Jordan better. Jordan is my favorite area. There you go. Ooh, look at this. Oh. And over there, look how beautiful. It's gorgeous. So this is Nordermark over here. Let's just cross the street. Also, watch out for the cars. The car drivers in Amsterdam also be crazy. Look at this view. This is insane. Oh. So beautiful, so gorgeous. We are now at Prinsengracht. In case you know, there's also a Prinsengracht across the town because the, the grachten or the canals are shaped like a U shape. And sometimes you think you're on the, uh, the right side, but then it's actually on the other side of the town. So please be careful with the numbers and everything because it's quite a walk if you have to go across town. And here we go. This is Nordermark, so of course there's no market right now. Uh, maybe I'll take you one day. I want to go to Nordermark again too. But so the market is here every Monday at 8 a.m. I think it closes at 1 p.m. But I'm not sure. I used to live here for one month actually. I lived like right over there. And I thought I would be going to the market on every Monday. Nope, stayed in bed. <laughs> But it was really fun living here and I, it was actually one of my dreams which came true because I dreamed of living in the Georgian area and even though it was just for a month it was so much fun I love it here this is the Westerstraat you have American apparel and all kinds of restaurants like I think over here you have a couple of good restaurants but we are continuing our walking tour uh, along the Prinsengracht I think it's still the Prinsengracht okay here I'm about to get hit <laughs> <laughs> he was actually really nice. Usually they use curse words and stuff like that. Prinsgracht? Yep, Prinsgracht. Okay. Now, we are off for the cutest streets ever. Look at this cute restaurant. I've never been here, but it looks so adorable. I really love old things. But I also love modern things as well. This is cute for coffee and a lunch or something. Just keep walking straight towards the big tower and enjoy more canals in the meantime. And if you're a tourist, you should definitely, or, or if you're Dutch and you've never been, you should definitely visit the Anne Frank house. I went when I was maybe like 10 or 11 years old. It's really cool. There's always a line. If you can buy tickets online, they have like a web shop, but sometimes it's sold out. If it's sold out, go early because there's always a line and sometimes, like in summer, you have to wait two or three hours. You don't want that, so uh, it's definitely worth the visit. Canals galore. If you're looking for this, this is your area. So we're almost at the, I think this is the Westerkerk, yes it is actually. And we're going to cross the street there. You can just keep walking straight, just follow the Prinsengracht. Right across the tower, there's a cool tea shop. Highly recommended because it looks really cute. Look at all the... Oh, those, that's coffee actually. But oh no, those are teas over here. Look at all the different varieties. Just crossing the street and continuing along the Prinsengracht. This way. Oh, if you like TV and film toys, maybe this is your kind of store. This looks cute, man. What is this? I have no idea. Wow, am I such a geek? Oh, there we have Batman and Joker. What are these robots? Am I old? Like, look at the robots over here. Ooh, 
Ooh, you know this one. It's from Dragon Ball Z. And yeah, looks cute. They have pretty cool stuff over here. So it's called Hope. Another cute interior shop. Oh, I love this sweater. <gasps> I should get this sweater. My gosh, it's cute. Look at this. Look at all the little cute accessories, I think. Oh, this is like a scented candle. The shop's called Nouveau Niche. So I'm going to turn left here because we're almost at the Negen Straatjes area, which is an alternative shopping area as well for, uh, yeah, for the Kalverstraat. Oh, sorry, sorry. See, a very happy, grumpy Dutch cyclers. They seriously hate it when you get in front of their bikes. <laughs> for me, it's also funny because when I cycle, I, I'm, I just laugh because I've been a tourist as well, and you're like all over the place, especially with my camera now. I'm also all over the place, but. Amsterdamers take their cycling very seriously. Ooh, very cute shop. Look over there. This is the Reestraat, the start of the Negenstraat, just from the Jordan side of town. And I already spotted a cute shop for you. Over here. Look at all the cuteness. Inside and over here, there's another cute shop. If you like labels, here's Luxury Vintage. I'm guessing they have LV stuff. All right, I'm not gonna film every separate store because there are too much cute stores. So there's more vintage over here. And um, there are also a lot of cute restaurants. Um, Zoe Carson, if you like that, it's also here. Oh, you should try the Dutch apple pie. This is also a really cute, what is this called? Reisefe, really cute lunch cafe, I guess accessories and stuff then when you're at this intersection just cross the street and continue i usually just walk here i don't pay attention to the street names so please excuse me if i don't know exactly where we're over but um i'm trying to film the, the street names as much as possible and then we end up at the hardest path with bags and accessories over here more fun stores over there American Vintage, COS, or COS, I don't know, um, Karl Lagerfeld on the other side. So at the next intersection, continue straight. You can get a juice if you want that, or some crazy glasses if you're into that. This is a gift shop. The cute things, wow, look at the pennies. So at the next intersection, we are going to turn to the right, and we are now at the single again go straight because we're not done yet so at the next bridge we're going to turn right again because there are a lot more cute shops over there but we're going to turn right into the Oude Spiegelstraat because there's a lot more cuteness here luxury vintage more of it if you're into it uh -huh. Shoes, Rika over here, my son Rika over there. You know, basically all the brands, the popular fashion bloggers wear and stuff, you can find them in this area. Negenstraatjes. So I just crossed the bridge and I'm going into the Wolvenstraat. Where we will find Fidelka across the street. And Lee and Laura Dolls. That's a really cute vintage store, by the way. We're going to cross another bridge, and then you end up at a ginormous episode, which is like one of the most popular vintage shops we have in Amsterdam. It's a little bit overhyped, in my opinion. Like, you can find a lot more cute stuff in like less. Um, lesser known vintage shops but they have good stuff like episode is is good if you like vintage and now we're just continuing into the Berestraat, the Bear Street all the vintage at episode oh sorry I'm just constantly filming with girls in the back of my head but they have enough cute shops for men as well and then we cross the street once more just continuing straight ahead to uh, again along the Prinsengracht this way if 
you want to you can check out cute restaurants in this street look it looks a little bit broken up now but um, yes this is Eilandsgracht uh, they have a burgemeester if you just keep going this way they have good burgers and also like this is an old Amsterdam cafe with uh, <laughs> old people but it's it's fun to experience like one of those cafes as well I am just going to continue along the Prinsengracht and then you can choose to go into another Negenstraatjes area I think I should have gone left immediately because there was not that much to see on this part of the Prinsengracht This is the Runstraat and they have a van shop over there Ico, oh I like Ico um, like some beauty shopping if you're into that wine you can find wine everywhere um, denim, tons, skins cosmetics you can have burgers here at Burgerluck this also looks like a cool store and across the street they have a male version we're just going to continue straight ahead okay before I get killed over here somebody is being very irritated continuing in the Huidestraat more shops and stuff oh zipper is also a famous vintage shop by the way so if you like vintage shopping I recommend this one so, oh they have a cool ceiling crossing another canal into the Weidehuisteeg and then we're almost finished with because this is a really short street and at the end of this street just turn right and go straight ahead then you will end up at Koningsplein which is also the start of the Leidsestraat oh this restaurant Casa di David they have amazing pizzas and pastas highly recommended so if you finished your walking tour here you can eat here and uh, if you want to party over here this was the former Odeon club it uh, just recently opened again as supper club and because it just recently opened it's still very popular there we go supper club you can party over here if you want to and my hair is more curly or in the midst of an explosion we are back at Koningsplein um, if you turn right you will go into the Leidsstraat and Leidsplein you can still go to the coffee shop the Bulldog which is extremely cheesy but if you're into that go for it if you go to the left you will um, like this way if you go that way you will end up at the Kofstraat which is one of the most popular high fashion shopping streets and if you like continue along the Kofstraat you will end up at the dam so that's my alternative walking tour I hope you liked it and I'm going home because my hand is frozen from filming look at how red my hand is oh my gosh wow Lenny is here hello hello sweetheart hello. she came over for dinner and and do you want to tell them about your trip? Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to be here with Ivana because she needs to help me. I am likely <laughs> going to China really soon. Ah, next week. Oh. So exciting! Oh my gosh! So either next week or um, week after Chinese yeah. New Year. So, uh, and I'll you're visiting there. all the cities where, where I went. Almost like all of them. Yes. Beijing. Yes. No, everything. Okay. Beijing, Xi'an, Shanghai yeah. and Chengdu. I know. All of I them. I need to watch all of the old I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for yes, you. And this is our dinner. We are having over here, we are having brown rice. This is just a vegetable curry with coconut uh, milk. And they, <laughs> these are like <laughs> turnip fries. They don't look that good, but they do taste good, I have to say. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's already 12 a.m. <laughs> It was so much fun. We had such good talks. I haven't seen Mandy for a long time and she travels a lot for her work, which is really fun. Um, so maybe we have a little idea and I'm really open for it. I don't know if you guys are open for it. What would you guys think about her um, guest vlogging? for a week or something while she's in China she can take us back to China I would love that I was just telling her she was telling me about her travel plans and stuff and I was like oh my god I wish you vlogged I want to go with you and she was like well 
there's an opportunity. So um, I was like, yes, I would definitely like to see those vlogs. And I don't know, would you guys love to see those vlogs as well? Let me know in the comments below, or you can put a thumbs up or a thumb down, whatever you want. So now I'm off to bed. Thank you for watching. Love you. See you tomorrow. I just can't look at this cool marble table. <gasps> This is really cool. And fleurage. Rustig tempo, voldoende druk, druk naar buiten. 